What's going on guys, it's Real Touch Gmail here back with another Game Maker tutorial and today we will be creating a tutorial on how to make advanced platform AI sent in by UWASPERKH. <laughs> uh, don't ask me how to pronounce that. But yeah, that's pretty much what we're going to be doing today, so let's begin. Alright, so I went ahead and started off by creating a sprite enemy. And as you can see, he has image 0 which is facing right and image 1 that is facing left I also made a sprite wall and this is just what he's going to be standing on alright so in my room real quick or in the in the room I went ahead and just created a small little level and what we're going to be doing is having our enemy pretend this is in game uh, he's going to be on here and he's going to go he's going to keep going keep going and when he gets to the edge he's going to turn around and then when he gets to this edge, he's going to turn around and back and forth, back and forth. And eventually when we get close to him, as our player gets close to him, he's actually going to go off the edge and start chasing you. So let's go ahead and begin. So in our OBJ enemy, in the create event, what we're going to do is we're going to say image index equals zero and image speed equals zero. So this is pretty much going to lock up the frame. We're also going to set a variable called facing equals zero. Now, you can make a little comment to yourself, but we can say if facing equals zero, then he's going right, or enemy is going right. If facing e equals one, then enemy is going left. All right. So when he's facing one, we automatically know he's going left. If he's facing equals zero, he's going right. So he's going to start off by going right. Okay, so in the step event, what we're going to do is first off, we're going to give him some simple gravity. So if place free x comma y plus one uh, gravity equals 0 0.5. Else gravity equals zero alright so we pretty much just set gravity for our player so we go ahead and put him in the room and we play the game as you can see uh, he does fall alright so in the stub event we're also going to say now and this is going to be for when he goes back and forth on the object wall if place free x plus 32 y plus 1 and so you do the double ampersand sign and and so that means and uh, facing equals 0 we're gonna set facing to equal 1 and we're gonna copy that and we're gonna paste it down here and this is going to be negative 32 and this is and facing equals 1 and this is going to set facing to equal 0 so what this is saying if is if uh, if facing equals zero, so that means we're going right. Remember, plus thirty two, so thirty two pixels in front of him, and y plus one, so there's one pixel beneath him, uh, and that place is free, so there's no block there. It's going to set facing to equal one, which means he's going left now. So we actually have to uh, set that left and right. So we're going to say if facing equals 0 speed equals 2 and image index equals 0 and then if facing equals 1 speed equals negative 2 and image index equals 1 alright so if we go ahead and play it now if we go ahead and play it as you can see, he starts going, and when he gets to the edge, he turns around. When he gets to that edge, he turns around. And he'll do this infinitely. So, that's pretty awesome. But, we do run into a problem. If we put him up here, like this, and we have him fall onto the block, watch what happens. He's falling, he's falling, and he goes right through the block. All right. We can easily fix this by in the OBJ enemy collision with OBJ wall. 
v speed equals zero. And that's an easy fix. So we'll go ahead and play it now. As you can see, he's falling and he latches onto it. But uh, if we play that through one more time, notice how he falls. Okay? He falls not smoothly at all. Um, actually, if I comment this out, Oh, it's the other way around. If I comment that out and I just have the gravity settings, look at the smooth how smooth he falls. Okay? Do you see that? And if I take that out and I play it, he's not falling that smooth at all. So we can actually fix this by in the create event setting a new variable up. And we call falling to equal false. And this is going to be a Boolean value, which is a true and false statement. And so when falling equals true, that means he's actually falling. So in the step event, if place free uh, x, y plus 1, gravity equals 0 0.5, and falling equals true. Else, falling equals false. Pretty simple. Um, and in the place free, we're going to say and and falling does not equal true go ahead and copy this and paste it alright and down down here in facing equals zero we're actually gonna take out this speed okay and we're gonna say if facing equals zero and falling does not equal true speed equals two and we go ahead and copy that and do the same thing for left. So change that to 1 and then negative 2. So now if we played the game, we got that smooth transition and everything still works. Which is pretty awesome. Um, let's actually try and put him up more. There you go. So you can see the smooth falling a little bit better. Boom. And he latches on. And there you go. So I hope you guys liked the tutorial. Uh, we're not going to have time to go ahead and have the player chase me. Or uh, if the player gets close, it actually chases you. If you guys would like to see a tutorial on that, go ahead and comment down that you would like to see a tutorial on that. And next tutorial I will probably do that um, so go ahead and leave a like if you like this video go ahead and subscribe and I will see you guys next time